my god. That would have hurt like crazy. <laughs> Damn you wind, blowing shit on the road. So there is a lesson to be learned in this. You obviously want to look <laughs> ahead quite a bit, but they weren't lying when you went, when you took those classes, hopefully you did if you're riding, when they said you want a 12 second look. You want to look 12 seconds and then there's a four second and then there's immediate. So the 12 second is scanning ahead for any issues. The four second would be the car in front of you and the immediate would be the road in front of you too. And you always want to be looking at all that. And it's important to be looking, scanning 12 seconds ahead. Point in case, I actually saw that on the side of the road kind of fluttering a little bit well before that truck hit it. I did not expect it to fly up and nearly take my face out. So, I, if you, if you watch it again, you can notice that I move from the right side of that lane to the left side of the lane, because I saw that thing on the right side of the road but a more appropriate action would have been to completely GTFO that lane and gotten over into the middle. Because that, that son of a gun was close. <laughs> it probably wouldn't have been too bad because of the gear and everything, but man, that thing on the corner gets you right in the throat, that would have not felt pretty. So, thankfully, it didn't hit me. We were, I'm in good shape. But there's a lesson to be learned of always scan 12, uh, 12 seconds ahead of you. So that's pick out a spot, count to 12, and whenever you hit it, that's 12 seconds ahead of you. And uh, make appropriate actions. Don't you got to stay on your toes. So hopefully that helps. And it was fun to watch, wasn't it? It was pretty cool-ish. Whatever. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Bye.